Hey guys, what's up? This is Tag from Abstract Graffiti and Twin Design. How are y'all doing? Um, yeah, so I've been getting a lot of messages, people saying, yo, do more tutorials. Like, yo, what the fuck's wrong with the tutorial division? It's just sitting there, and you're not teaching me shit. Well, I'm here today to fix that. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Well, uh, yeah, so, um... This is one of many tutorials that are going to be coming out. Um, I'm going to be doing the graffiti-related tutorials. Well, me and everyone else that's in the graffiti division are going to be doing um, graffiti-related tutorials, teaching everyone the passion and the love and like where tutorial, like I mean not where tutorials, but where tagging and like graffiti came from and stuff like that. Because I'm pretty sure y'all want to know how to draw, but um, you want to do more than that, so. Like, I mean, you're going to want to, like, learn more than that. You're going you're gonna to want to learn, like, like, uh, like, why do people do this type of style or where did that come from or something like that. You want to have, like, a terminology, basically. You don't want to be just like, Hey, I can draw your feeny. <laughs> yeah, so, um, all right, well, yeah, let's get this thing rolling. Um, what you see in front of you right now is a uh, little piece I just did for y'all. It says tutorial. And um, I'm going to be teaching you how to um, basically help you with lines and curves and um, like overall flow of graffiti. Um, something that I've noticed that uh, a lot of people in the graphic community are just trying to start new graffiti, but um, they don't really understand like what a flow is or uh, what um, like how to make your, your letters go together. So all right, so uh, to start this off, I'm going to explain to you. Um, what I tell everyone that asks me for help when it comes to graffiti. I tell them that you want your letters to flow. You want them them letters to look like they came from the same family. They're related to the same mother, same father. That's basically what, what you want it to do. Um, and what I'm going to be doing this tutorial with, I'm gonna, I just got these new, um, these new fine tip markers, the Prismacolor markers. And they come with different sizes and everything. Uh, they're actually pretty boss, so you might want to check these fine tips out. I'm going to be using uh, the 0.8 marker, if that means anything to you. Um, yeah, so, all right, when I say, uh, like, the letters need to look basically the same, you don't want the T to look like a black guy. You don't want the U to look like an Asian guy. You don't want this T to look like a, a younger black guy. You don't want this O to look like a Mexican guy, you know, like a Colombian girl, and then... You know, what are some other races? A German guy, and then a, an English A, and then um, a Latin L, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, so you don't want them to look like they come from all different parts of the world. You want them to look like they come from the, the same family. Uh, you can pick your own race for the family. I'm not really sure. I'm not into that kind of stuff. But, um, all right, so let's get this thing going. Um, oh, I said that like three times. Holy shit. But, um... Alright, so you see how the, the type of style of graffiti this is, it's it's more like a, a, a wavy, like, um, sharp-tipped, like, sharp-ended um, letters. Like, the T you see right here has um, a tip here, then it curves around, then has another one here, and at the ends, it's just all the, the, the tips at the end are, um, are sharp. They're uh, straight-edged, basically. Um, try to have, like, a little nice flow for the O right there. Um, then the R has a little thing there, a little curvy thing there, and then um, I wanted to make this look as if it fit, but now it just looks like a little fireball on top of the I. And then the, the A has a chart tip there, and then it curves around here, has another chart tip there, and then has another one that goes bazooya and shoots over there. And then this is just like a little, uh, the L goes like up here and then you want it to go this way and then that way and I did something a little different right there yeah that's tutorial for you um I'm gonna be going over this uh, in the marker so um, oh by the way I got a I got three booby bracelets if anybody wants to donate me a booby bracelet I'll happily wear it and um, I'll um, say that y'all gave it to me on my next video if y'all want to donate me some booby bracelets I love booby bracelets because I love boobies oh yeah Oh yeah. All right. Um, another thing that you want uh, you want to learn is perception, like or yeah, perception basically. So if you're going to be doing wild style graffiti, you want um, like whenever you have stuff that interlaces behind or in, uh, a letter that interlaces in front or behind an, another letter, you want it to um, basically. Here, let me turn this light off. It's getting kind of bright. 
So let me go ahead and start on this T. You want, like, uh, how do I explain this? Here we go. The top of the middle T over here goes down this way, and then this, the left side of the T shoots in front of the U, and then when it goes over to the O, it goes behind the O. It actually goes in the middle of the O. And, yeah, that was my phone going off. That's really annoying. Um, so it goes through the O and then shoots out the back of it. That's perception. You want, if you can see right here, that's where the, uh, the piece goes back. You want that to be equal to the piece that's over here, the line that goes across there. You'll be able to see it better when I go, uh, go over this. Turn my phone on silent as if I was in school. All right. And uh, another thing, guys, um, it's really good. Uh, something that my teacher at my uh, my school at the Art Institute of Houston, they taught me uh, you always want to like it before you ink it, basically. So uh, you always want to do a rough draft just like an essay. You want to sketch it out, make sure you like everything the way it is before you put the ink on it. You want to make sure everything flows good with each other uh, before you make it permanent. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this. So um, just... Like, everyone's going to have their own different style when it comes to graffiti. Everybody's going to have um, their, their own type of flow, their own type of uh, perception. They're going to have something that makes them unique, something that makes them different from everyone else. Because if you were the same, then people will be like, hey, you stole that style from so-and-so, whoever they like better. So um, to prevent that, you just want to make your own style, uh, make your own flow. That's, that's basically it. Um, and uh, a little on the history of graffiti that I wanted to explain to you. Um, yeah, hi, hi, um, graffiti was um, started off like in Egyptian times or um, a, like a long ass time ago when you, they did stuff on cave walls and uh, I guess inside of pyramids and shit. Um, but the, the original graffiti artists that started tagging their names on walls with spray paint um, for promotion or uh, just for fun reasons, were uh, the first two guys. Their name was Cornbread and Cool Earl. Again, that is Cornbread and Cool Earl. Just in case you didn't get that the first time, yeah. So, um, like they would go around and uh, they would um, uh, write Cornbread and Cool Earl, Cool Earl on the walls, and um, they, they wouldn't tell anybody they did it, but uh, people would see it everywhere. And then whenever their nicknames got out, they'd be like, "Oh shit, you bastard! That was you writing on the wall." And uh, that, yeah, that's that's basically the and that that happened in uh, Bronx, New York. Um, that's pretty much where that originated, and then spread out everywhere across the world. And yeah, and um, I also get a lot of questions of people asking me, uh, "Where do I um, like? When did I start doing graffiti? And uh, who inspired me to start doing graffiti?" Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Uh, when I was in seventh grade, there was this Asian kid that sat right next to me in my reading class, and he didn't do shit but graffiti. All he did was graffiti. He uh he would pull out this paper. We'd walk in the class. The teacher'd be like, "Okay, kids, pull out your books and uh your your paper and pens or whatever." This kid was just like, "Fuck you, teach. I'm about to tag this shit up." And he got caught writing on the desk a few times, but um. He, uh, yeah, he, he was a pretty cool guy. I don't really remember his name. I think it maybe had been Victor or something like that. But, yeah, um, this Asian guy. So I asked him, I said, hey, can you uh, teach me how to do graffiti? I think that's really cool. And he was like, man, the, the only thing I can explain to you is how I um, started looking at the concept of graffiti. I can't teach you graffiti. But um, he, did get, he did tell me something that really helped me. He told me that... Um, that what you want to do is you want to think of a letter like uh here i'll just write it right here you want to think of the letter t right there just capitalize letter t right there now you want to re recreate this in your head a different way so like if i write across here and then go down here it's going to be a t now you want to recreate it creatively in your head how to re like just remake the t but in a different way so add a a curve to it a sharp edge a little swoop down in the middle and then a sharp edge on the bottom. That's recreating the T. That's what you want to do. You want to take a letter and you want to recreate it a different way and then put it down on pen and paper. That's um that that was a great concept that uh, he taught me and like I, I really appreciate it that um that he actually took the time to help me out. So me understanding that appreciation for someone to take the time out and teach you things, um uh, that's why I'm doing this today. Like I'm I really enjoy graffiti. It's a really creative outlet for me. 
uh, whenever I get pissed off at the world, I put on my headphones, I um, kind of just tune out and draw graffiti. And yeah, it keeps me out of trouble. I could go smoke a bowl, but um, no, nah, I do graffiti. There we go. Unlike uh, Firm Designs, uh, Bradley, he's a pothead. So if y'all want to talk to him about Mary Jane, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah. All right, so um, here, let me uh, try to clean this up for y'all right here. Okay, so as uh, I hope, hopefully y'all are watching me uh, go across the letters with, um, with the marker here, and you can see uh, how I kind of do my, um, my own flow to it, like uh, certain ways that I write it and everything. But uh, after you go over the, the rough draft with a, a permanent marker, what you want to do is you want to get yourself one of these erasers, these big ass white old school school erasers and um, or the pink ones whatever actually I don't prefer the pink ones because the pink ones will um, smudge everything leave pink shit all over your paper and you don't want that so um, I'm cleaning up the pencil here oh and uh, I understand I've been getting a lot of messages also for people uh, wanting to learn how to take it from paper to uh, Photoshop to Cinema 4D and then to um, back to Photoshop basically uh, this process is something that me and my brother made uh, try to, I'm trying to tell everybody this but some people just don't understand um, this process is called tagging and tracing you're tagging it on paper you're tracing it to the computer and you're turning it into 3d digital art me and my brother invented this processing this process of art um, so like if you're gonna do this stuff like you know um, f feel free to do your own tagging and tracing but I just would really appreciate it if people would take the time out and title it a tag and trace and then buy your name. Like saying since like we did make this process and um, like it would just mean a lot of people would re like recognize us for that. And um, yeah. So um, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this tutorial off for you. Basically uh, if, if y'all want any other help or uh, something that I didn't go over that you would like to learn for... Um, uh, later on this week I'm gonna do another tutorial for you um, just leave feedback in the comments and uh, please be sure to hit the like button that really means a lot for some reason people have been disliking our videos and I have no idea why um, yeah so leave feedback in the, the comments saying hey can you show me how to do this can you show me how to do that and uh, if it gets a lot of thumbs up then that means that a lot of people want to learn it and I'll be sure to do that tutorial for you so yeah, the, the next tutorial, I think I might do it over signatures. Um, like on the, the bottom right or the bottom left, I'll always put my signature. Twin tag, T-W-I-N-T-A-G-G. -G. Put a little loop under there. And then on the top up here, I'll put uh, what it says, but I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, y'all should be able to see that up there. So I'll put tutorial... E O R I A L. Put it in quotations. A little loop under there. Put a little arrow for flare. And yeah, um, I was gonna 3D this, but I think y'all are fine with this tutorial. All right. So um, remember, please be sure to hit the like button and leave feedback in the comments telling me what else you would like me to go over. Uh, again, this is Tag from Abstract Graffiti, and uh, yeah, I love you all. Uh, peace, love, and musicality. Deuce.